have you ever wanted to run the python script itself every day at 10 am so in this video we're gonna see how to schedule python scripts using python anywhere so your code can even run when you are sleeping you just have to schedule the python file so this is perfect for web scraping sending news reports every day morning or any automated tests on your website here you can see we have your python file right when we run the python file it will send the motivational code to our email address so we're gonna see how to schedule this python file so that it will send the motivational code to our email address every day and we can set the time it can be 10 am 11 am or 7 am we can set the time it will run the uh, python script every day at that time so let's see how we can schedule the python scripts using python anywhere let's get started as i mentioned this is just a sample code to send the motivational code to our email address to do this we're gonna use this gen code api consider i am using the api so this will get the random code from the api and with it will send to that email address so let me show you the demo of this icon script before we schedule it when we run the python script you can see that it says motivational code sent successfully consider motivational email sent successfully and when we go to our email address let me go to the email address you consider your daily dose of motivation when we open up you consider you are the only problem you will ever have and you are the only solution it will send the motivational code like this and we are fetching the motivational code from this gen codes so when we run this python script again it will send you a different motivational code so we're gonna schedule this so that it will send you a moti different motivational code every day at a fixed time you consider the purpose of life is the expansion of happiness not only you can uh, use for this you can do any other job like uh, scraping websites or automating a test on your server so let's see how to schedule this python script to do that just open a new tab and go to the website called the pythonanywhere.com this is the website that we are going to use to schedule our python script you can see that i have already have your account let me log on and let me go to the website again you can see that this is the dashboard when we go to the uh, python anywhere for the first time here you can see we have a uh, option called the start running python online in the less than a minute just click on that to create our account uh, let me click on that you can see that it will redirect to this website here click on create a beginner account I'm going to use a temp mail in this video so that we can create the account in just a few seconds. Let me go to the temp mail now and let me open this website. While that is verifying, we can go to the Python anywhere. And for the username, I'm going to type the Python uh, schedule. So this is our username. And for the email, I'm going to go to the temp mail and copy that email address. Let me verify that here. Let me copy this temp mail here. And let me go to the python anywhere and let's paste the email here and for the password i'm gonna use here once we have entered the password click on agree and click on register let me save this password first we have to verify our email address let me click on this and email and let me go to the temp mail and see that we got your email here if you scroll down let me open this email and let's try to uh, confirm our account let's click on this link you can see that now our account has been successfully verified let me click on n2 you can see that our email address has been confirmed here you can see this is the python anywhere dashboard you can see that we have uh, four different options consoles files web and tasks in this video we're going to use the task if you go to the uh, task session let me go to the task session you can see that we have your option called the uh, schedule task your schedule task is a script that will run every day at your time of your choosing you can run you can see that we have the option to select the timing here and we can provide the uh, file path i will deal with this later and below that they give you a detailed explanation like you can use it to do stuff like scraping websites or checking that your server is running this is what we are going to do in this video to send you a motivational code every day at 10 am or any other time that we fix first we need to upload our, our files to this or uh, python anywhere if you go to the files option you can see that currently we don't have any our file you can manually upload the file by clicking on this upload file but i will show you how you can do this from your github let me show you how to do that for that just go to the github now and i'm gonna create a repository and up upload our files to the github repository let me go to the github now and i'm gonna create a repository now just click on new and i'm gonna give you a repository name like python scheduler and click on create repository so before we upload the files we need to create a file called the uh, requirements.txt file so let me click on this upload an existing file so before we proceed any further we need to create the requirements.txt file 
in that we will provide all our dependencies let me create a requirements that text file now so inside this we're gonna put our dependencies that we need for the python script to run on in consider in the python script i have a dependency called the lodi and we have to put that here so the library that i am using is the python.env from the dot env we're gonna use the lodi env so that's it i think all of the libraries are the building libraries we don't we don't have to install that so you can see that i have the requirements.x file and the python script we can start uploading the files to the github now let me go to the automation and let me select the file schedule and the requirements.x file let me upload that now and once the file has been uploaded click on commit changes you can see that now the two files has been uploaded successfully let me copy this or repository link and let me go to the python anywhere you can see option called the consoles here in the console we can have a option to create a bash shell or a in, in windows terms you can create a command prompt so let me go to the consoles and click on here bash shell so this will open up a command like interface like consider we got a bash now we got the console right we can clone the repository now so git clone and paste the repository url here let me place the url now and press enter to clone the repository you can see that it is cloning into our repository and i'm gonna cd into that folder now cd python schedule it will jump into that folder you can see that now we are in the python schedule if you use the ls command you can see that we have two files pyschedule.py and the requirements.x file since we got the requirements.x file we can install the dependencies using the pip command so pip install minus our requirements.x file and let's press enter now you can see that requirement already satisfied and once we have installed all the dependencies let me clear the screen we can go to the form page now let me click on this icon to go to the dashboard if you go to the files now you can see we can have a new folder called the python scheduler so if you go to the python schedule so inside this new folder we have the two files that we have cloned now pyscheduler.py and the requirements.txt file if you open the pyscheduler.py here inside this uh, folder i have used the environment variables so we need to upload the .env file as well let me click on this upload your file and i'm gonna go to the automation now so let me go inside the automation fol folder and i'm gonna enable the show hidden files so inside this .env file i have all the credentials that is the email username as well as the email password now we have got the all the three files that is the .env and the python file we can schedule now if you open the pyschedule.py we need to copy its location because we need a location so that we can schedule it so let me open this if you look at the top you can see that we have the uh, location right let me copy all of these you can see that this is the location where the python file is located in the python anywhere so let me copy this and let me go to the dashboard and if you click on task here you can see that you have your option called the provide your uh, python uh, location you will have to provide the python what version of the python that we are using along with the python we have to provide the python file location and at the adjacent we have the option called the we can set the time also so the python we are using is the python 3.10 and just copy the location now you can see that inside the python schedule we have the py schedule that we buy. that's it and daily it will run the python file at the and i'm gonna select the time to 7 am so at the 7 am at the 7 am it will daily run the python file so let me change this to 07 and this will be 0 and we can also give you a description right so the description is schedule task to send motivational quote every day so that's it we can click on create now you can see that now our task has been successfully created this file will be run daily consider frequency is daily at the time 7 am and the command python and the location python file location you can see the description and it will be expired on the on may 7 if you click on this you can see that our task is not run yet so let me go back and we can have your option like edit you can click on this icon to edit your file also you can see that we can change the python file location as well as the description if you want to delete this you can click on this cross icon if you want to extend the sp we can also do that currently it is set to the may 7 
we can expand that as well. You can see that it says paying users can schedule several tasks and can run both hourly as well as daily. In the free version of the Python anywhere, you will have to schedule daily. You can't able to schedule hourly. So if you go to the premium version, you can do that. But this free version is enough for us. We can run the Python script daily. If you go to the uh, web, we can also deploy the Python uh, frameworks like Django as well as the frame. You can see that we have an option called the Django as well as the Flask. I have already made a video about how you can deploy the Django on the Python anywhere as well as how you can deploy the Flask on the Python anywhere. If you want to watch that, I will provide the link of that videos in the description. You can check that out. So yeah, this is it. This is how you schedule a Python script using Python anywhere. And you Using this, you can run the Python script daily at the time you specified. Now, even while you are sleeping, the Python scripts can be run. So yeah, this is for this video and I will continue in the next one.